well. Uh, a lot of going on in the world of football, hasn't there? Uh, first of all, there's been this um, Kenny Redknapp bloke and this business about um, the uh, not paying the um, tax. Allegedly, of course, uh, it's not even allegedly, it's now been proven in the court of law, it's been acquitted. And uh, quite rightly, I think that he was acquitted. I mean, you know, I do it all the time. I often just open a bank account, put several hundred thousand pounds in, and don't tell the end of revenue. It's just routine. You know, there's no reason why you should have to go to court or prison for that. So I think it's a right, uh, good result there for everyone. Um, and uh, then also, there's this business that's all kind of tied into that, isn't it? I've got to be confused about it all. But, and then they're talking about this Kenny Redknapp in the, uh, 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 the not a coach, I can't think of the word, but it's like the man who shouts at, I can't think of the word, but when you've got football and it's like the man who's a bit older than them, who's a bit past it, kind of shouts on the side, oh, come on, come on, get together, so work on the three, four, seven formation. Oh, oh. That bloke, uh, they're thinking of getting him in, and they're getting rid of John Terry or something uh, because uh, he's uh, allegedly, allegedly a racist. I mean, there's no evidence, really, that he's a racist, other than the fact that he said racist comments quite blatantly on a, on a uh, video that we've all seen. But, you know, we, we, there is his defence, which, of course, is that he wasn't being racist. He was just kind of questioning what someone had said to him, accusing him of racism, and sort of said, did you say that I had said dot, 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 question mark? And I think, you know, you know, I think just looking at him, he's an honest man and I believe him. You know, I don't think he's racist. I think he was, I think, you know, on the face of it, when you see the video, you just think, racist, saying racist things. But when you analyse it in more detail, I think you realise that he's a, an intellectual man, sort of, wrestling with the, with the subject of racism, discussing it, if anything, being anti-racist, you know, looking at the issues and so on. So that's good news. And there was something else about football. Ah, oh, then there was that other one, that's right. The, um, the other one, he was, he was resigned, didn't he? The one, the Italian one, that, um, who I think did quite a good job for England. I mean, I don't know much about football, so I'm not a fan with it, but my understanding is he did quite a good job. But my understanding is that he sort of resigns, stroke being sat, stroke to jump before he pushed sort of thing. Uh, but my understanding is that although he did a good job, everyone's quite pleased to see the back of him. Uh, and no one really likes him that much for, for reasons that no one can quite put their finger on to. Could be racism, I suppose. Unlikely, unlikely, because there's no racism in football, so that's very unlikely to be a reason. 